out there, whatever. We we'll take a look at it and see what it is. No, did no. I don't feel because I don't pay many of that any because I know that parents are showmen. You don't negotiate through the media. You know what I mean? He, he has my phone number. He has my email. If he wanted to make an offer, he make an offer. Leonard, can you can could you confirm that he has sent offers in the past regarding the type of farm and take their fight? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So with that being said, obviously. We've seen that the zone does have the financial backing with, you know, the offers such as Canelo's, Anthony Joshua's. That's even, what you guys say. Well, even even like uh, Shella Fico confirmed that uh, Wilder did receive a three fight offer somewhere in the neighborhood of $100 million. That said, is there any circumstance that you can see, if the money's right, that you can see Tank Davis fighting on the zone? Well, I haven't got this latest thing that he's, that he's negotiating through the media. I haven't got that. And, and again, if something like that comes across my table, just as his promoter, I will take a look at it, me and his team, and we'll pass the information on, and we'll go from there, if something like that happens. No, no, but, 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 but see, this is the difference. We're very good at what we do. We're very, very good at what we do, and, and especially when it comes to... We built the biggest star in this world. We know we have... Lots and lots of plans for Javante Davis. Again, I don't want to sound like the broken record. Javante Davis will be a bigger star than each and every one of these guys. From Canelo to eventually, not now. Joshua, it, it, it's just because we know what we got. We know that the star power, what he brings to the table. And he can fight his ass off. You know, and, and again, we're, we have um, great plans for Javante. And he wants to be the best that's out there. And he's going to make a lot of money doing it. Yeah, along man. the way. And we're going to make yeah, sure yeah. That, that, that happens. Now, Linda. Again, no disrespect to whatever Hearn says, but see, all that's grandstanding. There's no way that I'm going to come to any of you guys and say, oh, I'm going to make whomever an offer this weekend is going to be this and this and that. It's like, okay. Now, Linda, how, how do you see that side? He doesn't want his turn off. Fighter, like, even if they like the deal, so damn, I don't like that he went public with it. Well, see, what I think that he's failed to do, and again, I have nothing personal against the guy, um, is that he underestimated the knowledge of these of these fighters. The fighters are, are very smarter than what he's giving them credit for. And it's actually insulting. Say it again. It's actually right. it's, it's actually <laughs> insulting. Right. Because he thinks that you can just throw money out there or make comments about money and the fighters are just supposed to not investigate it. No, it's like, we're still waiting on to see the numbers. What makes a young fighter wanna, want to risk a portion of his career to be able to fight on an unknown entity that eventually might turn into something. But at this critical stage of their career where they're looking to build their fan base, they're looking to uh, do all the things they need to do to take the next step to be a, a star. One thing's for sure, Javante Davis is one of the most young rising stars in the sport. Uh, he's the most exciting fighter in the sport. He's a, uh, he's a ticket seller. He's a tremendous draw. He's the biggest <laughs> star in that particular division. He's the money guy, everybody. He's the A-side to every situation. And uh, that's kind of like what it is. I mean, and we know what we have in Javante Davis. I don't need Eddie Hearn to tell me that. Javante, uh, Floyd Mayweather had that vision and saw all of that in Javante when he initially signed. And we have huge plan plans for Javante, which we don't run around and tell people what our plans are. But Javante Davis is going to be okay, and he's going to make more money than all of those guys, and he's going to be the biggest star. No, but and you guys are just going to have to stay tuned to see. I'm not turning down no offers, and I haven't seen an offer. So you, you, you make an intelligent evaluation based upon the information that you have, and you go from there. Now, Leonard, but Leonard. we don't. But we don't need him or the his his uh, platform that he fights on. We have a number of opportunities, and we can fight anybody who we want to. And Javante Davis is going to make lots of money. Now, Leonard, how how would that work? Uh, as far as if the if the offer you guys did look into the offer and it, you know was legit, 
How would that work as far as networks? Would he go on his own? Is he able to go on his own, or, is, or are you guys exclusive with him? Had never even gave it any conversation about whatever that was put out there. Again, I mean, as far as it, would it be a, a joint? Win, what they do is, is, again, if he's allegedly saying that he's making a, this ridiculous offer or whatever, we, as his promoter, as he has a manager, uh, and he has a very good internal team, we'll take a look at it and see what it is. But we know we've already have Javante Davis planned out. You know, the whole objective for him coming into this year was to stay a lot busy, to, to show the fans that why he's the best, and, and he's going to keep on giving you these thrilling, exciting matchups every time he goes out to fight. And we don't need Eddie Hearn or his entity that he runs to take, him, to take control of that. But we're always willing to listen to whatever it, whatever it is. Now, is that a fight that Tank Davis wants? Tank Davis has been wanting to fight um, Tevin Farmer. Farmer's a tremendous little little fighter. Tremendous little tr- tremendous little fighter. He can't beat Tank Davis, though. Mr. Ellaby, I have a question. He could, oh. he could beat Tank Davis on 10 out of 10 days. You know, and, and to be honest, to be totally honest, Eddie Hearn don't even believe that. Are y'all taking that he fight serious? Smoke, he blowing smoke up that kid's ass, and I know why he's doing it. Well, Are y'all taking that fight serious? I know why he's doing it. He Make don't even believe that, that his kid can beat Davis. Even that he heard that. Because guess it. what? He wouldn't be a pursuing Davis as aggressively as he has said to you guys. You, you, you know what I mean? He's trying to go through the back door. Yeah, or a side door. Side but it door. does matter yeah. because that slick talk... That works maybe with some of you guys, but you know, we're a little different. He can't talk that fast talk. That, and, and again, I have nothing but respect for what guys are doing, and I ain't got nothing bad to say about him. You know, Bob Aaron was right though. <laughs> now, let me tell you that. Shirley, how do you feel about you know, you guys were accused of tampering, you have issues like this where guys.